Hi, I'm Dr. Kurt Wohler for the Autism Mastery Course. We are including new information in the Autism Mastery Course on mold toxicity. Mold exposure can occur through environmental exposure such as mold in a water damaged home or foods. Many different foods can be contaminated with mold. And many molds produce what are called mycotoxins. And these mycotoxins can have serious consequences on many organ systems in the body, including the kidney, the liver, the immune system, as well as the brain and nervous system. And what I found is that many individuals with autism, when they are tested for elevated mycotoxins, often have elevations of certain mycotoxins that can have significant consequences on other areas in the body that are often problematic in autism, including the digestive system. One mycotoxin called mycophenolic or mycophenolic acid actually is known to create a problem in the digestive system that increases the propensity for invasive candida and clostridia bacteria, two infections that are very problematic in autism. Another mycotoxin often elevated is ochratoxin A. This is a particular mycotoxin produced by different molds such as aspergillus and penicillium mold. It too can lead to digestive system issues with regards to opportunistic infections. So this information is critical to understand. We'll go through the organic acids test from Great Plains Laboratory as well as the mycotox profile that Great Plains Laboratory provides. We'll talk about treatment strat strategies of using certain intestinal binders, glutathione support, and other types of remedies to help with mold elimination. And we'll also clinically correlate off of these tests how things can uh, be applied from different testing as well as clinical co correlating that to the clinical presentation of your patient. So for more information about the Autism Mastery Course, you can go to AutismMasteryCourse.com or you can email us at AutismMasteryCourse at gmail.com. Thank you.